The lone jungler buff for 13.4 is going to be Viego, as Riot will be giving his offensive builds more power. Passive damage will now be able to crit. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So as I'm sure a lot of you have seen, there's been some changes done to Viego, where now his um, passive, which procs on his Q and on his E, will now apply crit, as i just shown in the, um, in the little video before. This means that you can actually change up your playstyle with Viego and it means that certain items are now better on him, certain items are now worse on him. They changed up a few other things with crit items which I hadn't seen before so now I'm going to show you the new and improved best build for Viego 9 times out of 10. So what I suggest, there's a lot of variation with this build, this build is a lot less um, standard, a lot less obvious. There's a lot of the times there's options for different uh, items to go, a lot of the times there are different item orders which might be better in X circumstance or might be better in Y circumstance. So this build is a lot more flexible but the general idea of the build stays the same which is playing around your passive and playing around your and playing around shields which I'll explain a bit later. So this build is going to be Black Cleaver or Kenpunk Chainsword into Bloodthirster, into Infinity Edge, into Frostfire Gauntlet or into Immortal Shield Bow, into Phantom Dancer at which point you will sell your boots and then you'll build that into a Spirit Visage, a Witsend, a Gargoyles or a Titanic Hydra, any one of those four. And I'll explain why and how and when in a bit. So let's, let's go over each one of the different items here. So Black Cleaver can be stacked extremely quickly in about 1.5 seconds give or take, plus the item gives you everything you need, it gives you movement speed, it gives you a lot of AD, it gives you a lot of HP and it gives you a lot of cooldown reduction. Along with that it's a lot cheaper than most legendaries being only 3100 and most legendaries being above 3100 obviously, unless it's like a tank legendary. You could also go Kenpunk Chainsword here um, instead of going um, Black Cleaver. Um, Chainsword is also very good, it's very inexpensive, it gives you a lot of good stats. However, you want to build this if you're going against a heal heavy team or if you're going against somebody who will invade you a lot in the jungle like a Warwick who is heal heavy and you want to build Black Cleaver if you're into a tank heavy comp or if you're just into a non heal heavy comp. If all other things being equal you should almost always build Black Cleaver but there are some times where Kenpunk Chainsword, Kenpunk Chainsword will be um, superior to Black Cleaver. So Bloodthirster is just like most other crit items, it's OP. Um, it gives you a lot of AD, it gives you an, an insane amount of healing, it gives you a huge shield late game plus it synergizes very well with the rune I'm going to talk about later which is Overheal. So Bloodthirster plus Overheal, you're in the jungle, you're always going to be hitting something and even when you're preparing for a team fight, you're always going to be hitting something in preparation, you're always going to keep that shield up. The item in and of itself is just OP and with Overheal it just makes it even better. So Infinity Edge is next, so Infinity Edge just does a lot of damage, there's not really too much more reason to go Infinity Edge. Plus because of the changes to Viego's crits, it now applies on his passive autos which I spoke about before, which means the more crit the better and i.e. pretty much incentivizes you to have more crit. If you're wondering why I'm saying to go i.e. now instead of going um, Navoi Quick Blaze, which I advocated for in the past, is because Viego does not necessarily use cooldowns as much as I thought he did before. So before I thought that Viego really really needed his E up a lot, he really really needed his um, his uh, w up a lot. These abilities need to be up all, all the time. But the more I play the champion, the more I find out that this really isn't true necessarily. And you don't really need too much CD on the champion. You need a bit, obviously, but not too, too much. And I feel like playing around heavy damage rather than playing around infinite spell casting is better for Viego overall. So next is where it gets a bit iffy. So Frostfire Gone is something I'm a bit conflicted on. In terms of armor items, it's the best in the game. Along with the sheen passive it gives, along with the damage reduction and the slow, it's just it's a great item all around. It's the best um, armor item in the game. But I wonder if going a crit mythic will be better here. I would say that Immortal Shield Bow would be a good option instead of going uh, Frostfire Gauntlet. But it depends on whether you need more tankiness or whether you need more damage. I believe that both of them are good in their own respects. But I feel like it depends on the game. It depends on your playstyle. It depends on how you feel with going low. So some people, they go into fights and they're like, oh, I have the safety net so I can be a bit more aggressive. Or you can bait other people. It depends on a lot of things, right? It's personal preference. But I would say 
most of the time I personally go frost fire because I feel like frost fire's damage reduction is really really good and I feel like the slow is really really good especially on champions who don't have innate um, high movement I guess it's very very good even on champions with innate high movement speed is still good but champions who can use a sheen passive effectively is very good so Phantom Dancer is the next item. So Phantom Dancer is just OP. I've spoken about this many, many times before. The movement speed and the attack speed is just amazing. It gives the, it's a, probably one of the most gold efficient items in the game. It's just amazing all around. And then the last item which I'll go would be either Spirit Visage, Wits End, Gargoyle, Stoneplate or Titanic Hydra. So you go Spirit Visage if you want MR and tankiness, you go Wits End if you want MR and damage, you go, if you need some armor and MR because you went Shield Bow, you go Gargoyles. Um, you go Titanic if you need to split push or you find yourself taking a lot of waves. So that's how, that's how and when you pick each one of these items. So in terms of runes, I will only be talking about the primary tree here. And in my personal opinion, you should go Conqueror or Lethal Tempo, and then you go Overheal, Legend Alacrity, and then you go Coup de Gras, or you go Last Stand. Overheal is the most important thing here, it's the most important rune, because of all your shields which you have in your kit, because of the fact that it was recently buffed as well, it's very very good uh, rune. So it synergizes well with Bloodthirster, with, o with Shield Bow, with Gargoyles, with Spirit Visage and with your jungle pet. All of the excess shielding you're gonna get from this item will be insane. You practically have like a 50-50 split of HP and um, and shield depending on what time of the game it is and whether you have gargoyles active, whether you have shield back to whatever it might be, right? The item in and of itself is extremely, extremely good. Or well, the ruin in and of itself is extremely, extremely good. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the itemization there. So I'm gonna show a video of me playing the build as I normally do now. And yeah, thank you a lot for watching this video. The Viego changes feel very, very good. So yeah, I'll see you lot, or they, they sound like they're gonna feel very, very good. This game I'm gonna show you, I think was taken just before the changes to Viego's passive. However, the same points still apply for the most part. All right, see you lot in the next one, have a good one.
Blue team has slain the dragon.
Blue Team's turret has been destroyed. Red Team's turret has been destroyed.
Red Team's turret has been destroyed.
Red Team's turret has been destroyed. Blue team has slain the dragon. A summoner has disconnected.